Hey guys, today we have a 10 minute EMOM. Every single EMOM is gonna be the same. We're not gonna alternate these movements. You're gonna start with three wall walks and then three handstand pushups. If you can stay upright um, and do a wall facing handstand pushup, probably will be the most efficient way. If you have trouble with that, you can always kick down and kick back up. Now for these wall walks, I'll show you guys real quick what I'm kind of looking for here. But you will be facing away from the wall, right? I probably wouldn't have these here, but it's okay. I'm just gonna walk up over them. Um, but you're going to have your feet against the wall, start in a push-up position, come up, walk your feet up the wall. Say this is my third one. Then when I get here, I can do my handstand push-ups. Okay. If I wanted, I could always come down and kick up. And then from here, oh, and then from here, I can do kipping for a kipping handstand push-up, right? If you have trouble with strict handstand push-ups, which they are pretty hard, right? So three wall walks, three handstand push-ups every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. Now, the way we can scale these is plank walkouts and push-ups. So for a plank walkout, you would... Keep your feet in the same spot. Walk yourself out. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs. Walk back in, right? For these, you'll do six per round. And then, say this is my number six, I would then do three push-ups. Or if I was really good at push-ups, I could do six, all right? So choose between three and six. So we'll do six plank walkouts and then three to six push-ups, right? And those can be your scales. You can also drop your knees down to the ground for your push-ups if you struggle with those. Okay, now for your warm-up, we're gonna do a Tabata. Three rounds through, you're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It's gonna start out with a plank or a handstand hold, so you can always kick up to the wall and hold. If you're doing handstand push-ups, you kick up and hold, or you guys can do that wall lock up and hold there. And if you're not doing that, you can do a plank. Okay, here, or you can be on your forearms if you'd like to, okay? The next one would be a downward dog. 20 seconds there, drive those heels down, drive that butt up. You'll then go with a scorpion, so you would drop yourself down, hands out, leg like goes over and across, just back and forth for those 20 seconds. You would then do big arm circles, 10 forward, 10 backwards, 10 seconds that is. And then the next one would be small arm circles, 10 seconds forward, 10 seconds backward. You would do that for <clears throat> three rounds through. Okay, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So a total of 15 total rounds there. After you're done with that Tabata, you're gonna do some stretching, elevated cat stretch to help open up the overhead position. So if you have anything to put your hands up on, like a bench, um, couch, or chair. Hands up on it, butt back, and let your chest drop through, and then every once in a while come up, round the upper back, and then drop yourself back through. Big deep breaths for that one. Really try to sink down into it the best you can. You're gonna do two minutes there. Once you're done with those two minutes, you're gonna hit the workout, that 10 minute EMOM. If you need to, say you start with handstand pushups and wall, so all, uh, wall walks, you can always switch it to plank walkouts and push-ups, or say the wall walk's getting hard, you do plank walkouts and then handstand push-ups or anything like that, okay? Now, once you're done with the workout, the cool down will be a puppy dog stretch. So from here, it's kind of like a uh, child's pose, but you're gonna keep your butt up above your knees, hands out, and drop your chest on down. It's kind of like an elevated calf stretch, but a little bit um, less potent on you. You'll then do an across the body stretch. So pull that arm across for a minute, this arm across for a minute, and then a tricep stretch. So pull that elbow back for a minute, then pull this elbow back for a minute, right? Holding those, getting those arms nice and stretched out after that brutal arm workout. All right guys, hope that helps.